In chapter 1, topic A, we defined a mechanism as a set of links connected with kinematic pairs that transmit and modify motion and forces. Now we'll take a closer look at kinematic pair themselves. Here we have a collection of kinematic pairs. As the name suggests, any kinematic pair is made up of two bodies shown in red and green here. These two bodies are capable of moving relative to each other like this. So one body can be considered fixed and then the motion of the other body can be studied. Each of these bodies can then be connected to a different link. So as the two bodies move relative to each other, the two links will also move relative to each other. Next, we will name these pairs one by one. So here we have a prismatic solid sliding in a prismatic cavity. So this is called as a prismatic pair or a sliding pair. Next, we have one body rotating inside the other. So this is called a revolute pair or a turning pair. In the third case, we have a nut in which a bolt is engaging. So this is called as a screw pair. Or if you look at this projection, which is helical, and it is engaging with a helical groove, so it is also called as a helical pair. The fourth one is commonly called as a ball joint, but in kinematics, we will call this a spherical pair or a globular pair. And that is owing to its shape, the cavity and the solid that engages in it. Finally, we have these two pairs where one body is following the motion of another body with special shape or profile. Such pairs are called cams and followers. To recap, here is a prismatic or sliding pair, revolute or turning pair, helical or screw pair, and globular or spherical pair. Now let us see how to classify them. One criteria for classification could be what keeps the two bodies together. If it is their shape, like over here, a prismatic solid is engaging in a prismatic cavity, a cylinder engaging in a cylindrical cavity or a, a helix engaging in a, a helical cavity and so on. So if the two bodies are kept together by virtue of uh, their shape, then they are called as the form closed pair. But if the two are kept together by virtue of some external force like that exerted by the spring here or by the shear weight or gravity, then such pair is called a force closed pair. Finally, the last classification is according to the contact between two bodies. Here the contact is made all over the surface the prismatic surface here the contact uh, is across a cylindrical surface or a helical surface or a spherical surface so when we have a spherical contact uh, surface contact they are called lower pairs when in this case the contact is occurring only along a line or a point so such pairs are called as higher pairs